Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a quick review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5's new S Pen or stylus, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, I did a full review uh, where I talked about, you know, overall all the things about the phone. Now I want to talk a little bit more detail about this um, S Pen. Now, it is different from the last year. Now, you don't have to pull your, you know, insert your, um, your nail to bring it out. You just have to press it and it just pops out and this is really nice and this is just like a real life ballpoint or or pen you can do this make annoying sounds and uh, and of course uh, when your device is unlocked and and uh, you just instantly uh, pull the S Pen out it's gonna give you uh, these sets of uh, options actually there will be around four options and then you can add to custom options like if you wanna go to camera or gallery so uh, first of all uh, we got the action memo feature uh, where you can do different stuff uh, like you can select different pens colors and then of course uh, you can draw anything you want to let's let's see if we can clear it so uh, it's gonna hold it okay so it just gives us the colors and all that so I'm just gonna go back you can see it just has this quick icon also so and I wanna write something like like something like this thank you so so um, I've, I've you know th this is just a simple text um, you can do all sorts of stuff like you can do some drawing and all that so um, if I press the home key now now you can see that I got this uh, quick page shortcut and whatever I do on the phone whatever I do if I open porn sites or whatever I do this page will remain here to remind me that I have to do something and you know this is really nice that if you can make different type of notes and all that and you can also drag it and place it anywhere you want to that is also nice and if you just tap it it's gonna open up your action memo uh, which is really nice of course I'm gonna just save it so uh, the next thing that you can do here with the S Pen is that uh, we got the smart select now when you click on the smart select uh, you got different shapes here rectangular uh, lasso oval and auto shape so I want to select the oval and now I'm gonna just make it oval here and now it's gonna take it's gonna cut the part of that screenshot and here I got the option to write something share it save in scrapbook or save in gallery you know this this type of stuff is really nice if you are going to make like trolls on Facebook and all that you just quickly you know select that and just and it's gonna create everything and it would uh, just taking the uh, just after the cutting you can also uh, uh, write something on it like like let's see low so I mean something funny is, um, is um, you know so there, if, if there's something like funny funny thing here you can write something like this and you can post it or maybe your comment ends up on the top comment section something like that but yeah uh, it's a pretty quick uh, way to take a better screenshots and you know better and more f effective screenshots so uh, yeah if we just take a look at the third option uh, which is uh, the screen right now screen right is just a simple screenshot if I just click here it's gonna take the screenshot or whatever on the screen is and I need to just select the pen here and their size and then I can just start typing whatever I want to wow that's pretty easy and uh, again I can save it I can erase it and also we have this uh, undo options option oops okay so uh, that's uh, the our, our third option there. Just gonna click it. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's the fourth option. Now the fifth one is the S Note. Now the Galaxy Note uh, series has this S Note application, really popular, and you know it's like uh, similar to the Action Memo. Action Memo just give you a kind of like a quick uh, shortcut to that. Uh, but you can see my Action Memo is saved here. So that is pretty nice. So I'm just gonna lower down the brightness a little bit more. So we are going to click this plus icon. And again, I got the same page and I can draw anything I want to. And if I press the home key, and then we also get this reminder that we had these some notes to do. And this is 
pretty awesome you can drag it anywhere and and of course uh, when you are drawing something on the screen like if you are doing something on the screen you can actually uh, hear the sound of the S Pen, uh, you know, the, the sound of the phone, you know, it's like creating an effect that you are actually writing something on a page, you know, when you write something on the page, it has a unique sound, so this S Pen will create that for you, that is also realistic, and of course, you, if you press this button, it's going to take the action memo immediately, and the animation looks really nice, everything is blurred down, and of course, if you click on the settings, uh, we got a quick setting option here, and there, from, from there, you can actually um, select the um, let's see if I just click here okay let's try one more time okay now it's in the settings now you can actually edit the shortcuts now I have added the gallery and the camera so if I don't want that I can just click that and I can add anything else like a to do benchmark application just gonna click on it and it will be there so uh, of course, maximum number of application and functions are, read, uh, are reached, so it's up to like six. So you can see now I got the Intuitive Benchmark application, and if I just click on it, and it's going to launch the Intuitive Benchmark, you can see the note, it's still there. And, you know, of course, uh, I like how they have changed the, the design of the S Pen. It looks more awesome, more premium than before, very nice. So yeah, definitely uh, do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. If you want to know something specific, do let me know in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.